On August 13, a star was born. I want to thank Canberrans for doing the right thing. As lockdown loomed large, Ken Behrens became the masked messiah the ACT needed. And as the two-week lockdown became two months, fans of Ken got to work. And I thought, I bet I could make this into a T-shirt and I bet if I put it on the internet, I can convince my dad to buy it. Magic? Yeah, video Zoe magic. Rose and her eight-year-old Jamie sold a few more shirts than that. I think the first day I made $273 for Oz Harvest. To date, they've handed more than $6,000 to the charity, which helps feed Canberrans doing it tough. At the core of Canberra beats a very daggy heart, and I think we should be proud of that. And they're not the only ones. There was this really great uh, surge, I guess, of community um, support um, that was centred around the idea of us all being Canberrans. The Canberrans Club has raised $3,000 for Orange Sky, which provides basic services and dignity for people experiencing homelessness. The reaction from Canberrans ha has been fantastic. Like, it is more than I think I ever thought it could be. But um, I'm not heaps surprised because we've got a pretty good community behind us. Helping Hands ACT has also been able to fill the pantries of Canberra families thanks to lockdown merchandise. Since a lockdown has started, our average has been four or at times five families served at their doorstep with long life food and fresh grocery fruit. These teas and totes designed by local artist Mick Ashley have raised $8,000 to help feed the hungry. Canberra is a great example of a generous city. Thank you. While lockdown press conferences may be over, the spirit of Canberrans lives on. Holly Tregenza, ABC News, Canberra.